And finally, the New York Times August 26th article about proposed U.S. trade deals with South Korea, Colombia, and Panama conveys a number of unchallenged assumptions, starting with reporters' persistent use of the misleading term free trade to describe such pacts, which generally involve patent protections and tariffs and so on that have nothing to do with making trade more free. But what leapt out at us was Jennifer Steinauer's formulation of support for the deals. Under the agreement, she writes, quote, American service providers would be able to compete in the three countries, ostensibly adding new jobs to the American economy. Because of this, they are widely supported by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and other business trade groups, close quote. Clearly, ostensibly adding new jobs is a leap of faith when there is plenty of evidence to suggest that such deals actually cost jobs. But even more presumptuous is the idea that the idea of creating jobs is what accounts for the support of the Chamber of Commerce and business trade groups. It would be shocking to learn that that was these groups' driving concern, particularly given that the story of recent years is companies' failure to add jobs even when profits soar, and indeed their glowing reports to stockholders, complete with claims of million-dollar bonuses in times when they have actually laid workers off. Last we heard, businesses were interested in profits. If the Times knows otherwise, they've got a real bombshell on their hands.